Hey, I'm back. Uh, finally, after a couple weeks, um, recording a new vlog. It is Friday the 5th, and uh, just got this container full of Lego I brought in. Uh, it's mostly Lego. There's some non-Lego stuff in there. Like that. But, um, yeah, I found this on Facebook last night. Shot them a message and uh, picked it up this afternoon for $15, so pretty good amount of stuff in here, uh, looks like welcome to the hidden, hidden side set there, cool. uh, container wasn't included, I, I picked that, I picked it up in that, so I didn't have to uh, take a, uh, just a trash bag or something like that, so picked it up in this tub, uh, yeah, it was funny, the place where this that had this was literally like half a block from my house and uh yeah so they sold it for 15 dollars pretty good deal there haven't seen much in the way of minifigures in it i uh, haven't looked too much to see some accessories that pie's seen better days but uh still it works, looks to be probably close to 10 pounds um, i might weigh it out here in a minute but uh yeah, it's, it's a pretty good deal. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've recorded a vlog, so I'm going to go ahead and show you this. I've been working on trying to switch all my containers over to these Sterilite clear containers. Um, the ones that are still, that still have stuff in there, those are just bulk. And uh, yeah, so these are sorted categories. I've been working on trying to sort stuff out. Got my two by bricks. Uh, Technic and modified bricks and one by bricks, all this stuff. I, I did put a short up about this stuff earlier, but uh, it's getting a little bit more of everything. Um, my one bulk lot is kind of interesting. I had a lot of pieces from the child buildable figure there, and then uh, a couple sealed bags from that set too. And then um, also, I think these were from a friend's advent calendar. So, got some of those too. Uh, this was also in the bulk lot. My, my sister picked some stuff up for me up in upstate New York and brought it down with her when she visited uh, last week. And so I got all that stuff. Uh, randomly built this because every time this point in summer hits, I start getting ready for fall and wishing that it wasn't quite so hot so uh these orange and black studs were on the pick brick wall and i picked up a bunch of them for the store and then made this while i was counting them out so i thought it would be kind of cool um yeah i missed a lot i, I have a lot of videos that i probably won't actually end up uploading just because it's been a while and uh it's just all outdated now but um i accidentally bought a whole pick a brick cup full of studs after forgetting that I had um parted out the world map set and so I had all those studs in my inventory uh, I did check my inventory but I had two new lots for um white studs and one of them was just in a drawer and then I had all the ones from the map in a separate location and I forgot about them and so I have like 6,000 studs now so that's fun and then uh yeah so I think the goal here in the next week or so probably is going to be to get all of these Technic pieces sorted out because I mean, I've already got the Sterilite bin full, though some of this was sorted out before I had categories. Like, I just threw anything Technic related in here, so there's some things in here that I know don't belong, like modified bricks, and some things just got mixed in along the way, like, I don't even know. So, like, the plates with holes and the uh, bricks with holes ended up in here instead of modified plates and bricks. Um, yeah, here a little bit. there's a whole lot of these technique bricks 
percent were in this category. So my goal is to try and get the Technic down sorted and start uploading all these things because I haven't uploaded anything in a, probably two or three weeks just because I've been focusing so heavily on sorting and I've been trying to get larger categories like my um, large plate category there is pretty full. Um, my miscellaneous and and uh, vehicle one is pretty big now. Oh yeah, and one of the other things that I got that was in my the lot my sister brought down was a ton of the old Harry Potter sets, um, like the whole first wave mixed up. I didn't have excuse the mess, but I didn't have uh, most of the minifigures. There's a lot of minifigures, but not all of them. But I mean, these are just the instruction booklets here tons of stuff. I need to message David West because he said he wanted that that uh, poster. And then these are just from a separate lot that she brought down at the same time. But, yeah. Oh, what's that? Hmm. That got mixed in there. But here we go. So, like, we got the Chamber of Secrets. I was really, really hoping to find those fangs. Never did find them. Um, some of these little catalogs. Little tiny sets. But yeah, they had so many of these first wave Harry Potter sets. They're so cool. I was never all that into Harry Potter which is homeschooled for I wasn't allowed to watch it as a kid. And, uh, yeah, but so many interesting and random pieces in these sets. Love the random colors they use, they used for these, like the dark turquoise drawer there. I don't think that, uh, panel piece there is very common either. Sadly, I didn't find that jar, but, uh, I had the books probably the plate a lot of random cool pieces I mean these sets were very basic so much worse than the uh, the ones they make now but um, they have that kind of cool look to them I'll give them that also I think fluffy was there but not the heads so I'm sure that'll sell quickly. <laughs> There's just so many of them. Oh, what's this one? Is that a that's a different poster. Maybe it's the same one. Just folded differently. Yeah, it's the same poster. I put one up there backwards because it had all the uh, Alpha Team sets on there. And I had literally every set on this poster, I think, except for maybe that one. That, that doesn't look familiar. But I even had the game, one of the first video games I beat, loved that thing. But yeah, um, also, I think I had this Life on Mars set and one of the other smaller ones, but yeah, a lot of stuff. Some very cool classic sets. But yeah, still trying to get through these but yeah got the harry potter trolls sorting hat i guess this is potions class or something i don't know these are in kind of rough shape but still kind of cool oh that is one i don't think i saw was the uh quidditch match maybe it was Professor Quirrell. Is that the, the original Diagon Alley? I hope I can find that. That would be really cool. I, I don't I didn't see it, but it could have been in a helmet or something. Oh, there's the Quidditch set that I just said I didn't see. I know I saw this cloak and the hat. 
I think the rat too definitely had the uh, fat lady portrait, which is very creepy Legoized. <laughs> yeah. One of the shop at home catalogs. I was looking through this the other day and was kind of heartbroken to see this cypress trees five piece bag for five dollars when they go for like twenty seven dollars each now oof honestly everything on this page is a good good buy like i would have loved to been able to get 25 of these for for eight bucks 25 of those for seven bucks i'd love to be able to get them that cheaply now so many cool things in this book and so many of these sets that i i know i had like i got this set for my birthday and christmas like four times from different relatives <laughs> but yeah so all these harry potter sets thought they were pretty cool some very interesting pieces and then even a newer some of the newer stuff uh had the buck beak in there with the wings so that's pretty good and then the child so that was a lot of the pieces that I found in that set, that, that lot. Very excited to actually go ahead and start uploading that category when I do it. Um, one of the things that I did find that was pretty cool was I found a few of the uh, cape boxes that were still sealed. I opened them up and condensed them all down, but there were like, I think six of the black capes with stars that were brand new, a green cape that was brand new, and couple other ones a bunch of Harry Potter Minecraft some interesting stuff I don't even know what animal that is but very excited to get some of these things uploaded uh, this guy's probably gonna go on my collection because I don't think I had one in trans neon orange but Honestly, those old Harry Potter sets just had some really cool pieces. So, uh, I think that's going to end this video. I uh, don't think I'm going to make like a full-on vlog right now. But, uh, yeah, so that's just a welcome back video kind of thing. And uh, if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see in a vlog, just let me know in the comments. And hopefully I'm going to be getting back into uploading on a more regular basis. So thanks for watching. Until next time, y'all have a good one and keep sorting.